Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Katie and welcome to the stress-free place to learn music. I'm gonna be teaching you Summertime Blues by Eddie Cochran and it only features three chords. There's a full play along at the end of this video, so stick around for that and let's get started. Broken this down into some basic parts. We have the intro riff. We also have the main theme. We can add some waka chickas too. Waka chick is a very, very technical term, by the way. <laughs> Let's break that down. My index finger is going to be on the sixth fret of the A string, and then I'm going to strum the E string and the A string. The rest of my index finger is not barring, it's just lightly touching the rest of the strings to mute them just in case that, you know, accidentally strum them, you can't hear it. All you hear is a click click. So I have my open E, my open A string on the sixth fret, and then on the and of one, my middle finger is going to fret the seventh fret of the A string, but my index finger is going to remain on the sixth fret, and here's why. So first I have the sixth fret, and then seventh fret. Yeah, so six, seven, 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 six, seven, 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 six, seven, 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 six, seven, seven, seven. Okay, let's try that again. One E, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let's try that again, but let's speed up a little bit. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and try again little faster. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Two and three and four. And we also have the main theme. So what's happening there? First, I have my E chord, my focus fox. Aha! Fingers two and three will be on the second fret of the A string and the D string, and finger number one will be on the first fret of the G string. And I'm going to strum down three times, but count one is silent. Remember, one and two and. Now we have one and two and on count three i'm going to use an a2 chord so you could use a regular a i love the transition between a2 because i take my ring finger i leave it there fingers one and two will lift off now pinky will plant on the second fret of the g string like that you could have a regular a that's fine i like that because the transition is faster so let's try that one and two and three and four and huh and two and three and four and one. Now from here, we go to a B7. So finger number two will be on the second fret of the A string, finger number one, first fret of the D string. We have second fret of the G string, open B string, and then we have pinky, which is going to be on the second fret of the E string. So it's like, Skip it to this. It looks a lot like a C add nine, if you're familiar with that. Scooch it over and ring finger comes closer to your nose. Mm -hmm. Now when you transition back to an E, which you will, look at this. Middle finger is already in position. Ring finger comes up one closer to your nose. Index finger comes one closer to your toes. Yeah, that's why I like that configuration right there. So we have our E, A2, B7, E. Okay, so here are our counts. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three. Now in between there's some Waka chick is like, we're gonna break it down. First we have our E, count one a silent. One, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Then we have our B7. Down, 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 up, down, up, down. So you see that incomplete box, the thing that looks like a staple? That means strum down, and then the V means strum up. So let's break this down very, very slowly. So we have one, and two, and three, and four, and hua, down, 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 up, down, up, down. 
Do you see how my left hand is just covering the strings? Just lightly touch your strings. Just lightly touch them. Don't push down on them. Otherwise they'll start to fret them and sound really funky. Just, you need just a light cover like that. And I would keep it in the vicinity of here in the first position, but we have our one down, 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 up, down, up, down. So that's what causes the waka chica because you're strumming muted strings in between. Let's try that again. One and two and three and four and one. Down, 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 up, down, up, down. Now from here we have B7. Down, 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 up, down, up, down. Okay, let's try it again. One and two and three and four and huh. Down, 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 up, down, up, down. Down, 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 up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Now we get into the verses. I actually keep the waka chica going on a strumming pattern, which is down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then I go into the riff. So let's try that together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three up down up down down up down I'm a down up down up up down up down up down up up down up one and two and three and four and one and two and I'm a da 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 just to try to earn a dollar. Da, 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 da. Now when we get to the da 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 da, I have an A chord and I strum that same strumming pattern that I did the muting right there. So I have down up down up up down up down up down up. Hold an E chord. One two three four. You you gotta work late. Oh, and then I go, sometimes I wonder, A chord, same strumming pattern. Sometimes I wonder what I'm a gonna do. Hold the E chord, ain't no cure for the summertime. And then blues. Now there's something special happening there between the ain't no cure for the summertime blues. It switches time signatures to 2-4. So this is what it would sound like. One, two, three, four, one, two. Weening, 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 weening. So you have all of those parts. We have the which is an intro, which is also a turnaround, the main riff. The play along is next, so you can hear how everything fits together. Hope that you play along and jam along with me. I'm a gonna raise a holler I'm about a working all summer Just to try to earn a dollar Every time I call my baby Try to get a day My boss says, no dice, son You gotta work late oh, Sometimes I wonder What I'm a gonna do But there ain't no cure For the summertime blues My mom and papa told me, son, you gotta make some money. If you wanna use the car to go right in next Sunday. I didn't go to work, told the boss I was sick. Now you can't use the car cause you didn't work a lick. Sometimes I wonder what I'm gonna do. Cause there ain't no cure for the summertime blues. Take two weeks, gonna have a fine vacation. I'm gonna take my problem to the United Nations. Well, I called my congressman and he said, quote, I'd love to help your son, but you're too young to vote. 
Sometimes I wonder what I'm gonna do Cause there ain't no cure for the summertime blues Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. It really helps me out a lot. I'm gonna leave some free tutorials over here and I will see you in the next one. Remember, you are loved. Bye.